Hi, I'm Jennifer Bergen for Bass City Beat, and I'm here at the Mount Clemens Rec Center, where organizations such as CARE, Michigan Works, and Michigan State University are providing information on how to get through these hard economic times with a program called Surviving and Thriving in 2009. We were talking and about all of the uh, foreclosures that we have in the city, and uh, I heard some statistics about the number of people that are on unemployment or maybe going off unemployment and we just decided that the situation was quite serious and we need to provide some help for people in the city who are facing these difficulties and um, so we we thought a lot of people are not aware of all the agencies that can help them and it would help people if we could get all of these agencies together and then they can go around and talk and find out uh, where they can find help. We have to pull together and um, Mount Clemens really was developing and improving and m making good strides until a few years ago, maybe two years ago, when the housing market dropped and that led to all kinds of unemployment. And so I think we do need to take responsibility for our lives and we need to reach out to our neighbors. Um, my name is Christine Newett. I'm the Family Services Manager for Macomb County Habitat for Humanity. Basically what we do is we build homes for low-income families and then we sell those homes to the individuals at a 25-year interest-free mortgage. Um, we're able to use volunteer labor to help build our homes, donating materials to help put into our homes, which keeps the house cost down low for the homeowners. Um, well, Turning Point's been putting efforts towards improving Macomb County for 30 years next year. So we're here to help the survivors of domestic violence. We do offer them safe shelter if they need it. And we also have quite a few free services um, with regard to prevention ed and um, outside counseling and all that sort of thing. Well, the biggest benefit is going to be to anybody who's struggling, and I think that one of the things that's um, made itself very aware is, is that people that are struggling are not really uh, eager to come forth and share the fact that they're having a hard time. So in this kind of an environment, we can help a lot of people, and they won't be feeling singled out or feel that they have... Um, failed in any event because they're surrounded with a number of people who are looking for the same sort of resources as, as they are. There were some commissioners who were talking about the economy and the way things are going, not only in the city of Mount Clemens, but everywhere. And there's a major concern, of course, for our residents and the surrounding communities. And we thought there's so much information that's out there, but sometimes it just doesn't get to the people that it needs to get to. Why do communities need to know information such as this? Women need to be safe, and communities need to know that domestic violence is real and that it happens every day. How can someone get a hold of Turning Point if they needed to? You can look on our web at turningpointmacomb.org. Whether they want to volunteer, build, uh, donate, or actually become a homeowner, they can contact us at our office, which is 586 263 1540 or go to our website at www.macombhabitat.org. Well, we're, we're working hard to help people not to be homeless, you know, by providing help with rent assistance and utility assistance, and uh, we're trying to help those that are homeless, you know, uh, by providing a feeding daily feeding program. We also, in January, are going to begin a warming center so they can stay there, receive an evening meal, and, and transportation to a shelter. Be proactive, help others, do some volunteering. There, you know, we all are together in this. We're all either going to sink or you know, swim, one or the other. This presentation provided tips on budgeting, finding a job, avoiding foreclosure, and staying positive. Hopefully this information will help you to survive and thrive in 2009. For Bass City Beat, I'm Jennifer Bergram.